the death occurs once the symptoms start in about five to seven days and the death is very painful and agonizing and there is no cure for this even today anywhere in the world. There is no nice way of saying this. Rabies is practically 100% fatal. Death is imminent if the person is not treated on time. But rabies is also vaccine preventable. Why then are we seeing one human death caused by rabies every nine minutes? Hello and welcome, you're watching Happiest Health. In this episode of the Y Axis, we look at why you should consider taking the anti-rabies shot, even if you're bitten by a pet. Around 59,000 people die of rabies worldwide every year. 36% of these cases come from India. Half of these are children. But do we know enough about rabies? Why is rabies deadly? The way the rabies virus enters the body is quite different from other viruses. Most other pathogens would enter into the bloodstream of a human being, where you know the immune mechanism knows that there is a foreign body lurking and then they set out to fight it. But this virus is quite smart in that it never enters the bloodstream. It enters only through the nerves and through the nerves via the spinal cord it reaches the brain. So until then the host or the human body is not even aware that there is a pathogen lurking and therefore there is no fight put up from the body. The virus is now in the brain. There is no medicine which can go inside the nerve and inside the brain and kill the virus. Start with fever then uh, body ache, headache, just like any other uh, viral fever. Then after a day or so, they will start developing a fear for water. The moment they, their uh, mouth is dried, they feel thirsty, but when you take the water close to them, they get spasms. Hydrophobia, aerophobia, photophobia, these are the three classical signs which are seen in 80% of the rabies patients in India. In human beings, it is usually from three weeks to three months. Now in animals also, the incubation period varies from weeks to months. In India, the cause for more than 90% of human rabies is dog bites. Cats, jackals, foxes and other animals cause the rest. Scratches, bites and even licks on broken skin are equally serious and necessitate uh, post-exposure prophylaxis. Our understanding of a rabid animal is one who is aggressive, ready to bite, refusing to drink water. But can we identify a rabid animal with these signs? Hydrophobia is a classical symptom of rabies in human beings. This, this feature is not seen in animals. There can be aggressive forms of uh, rabies or it can be a dumb form with the, with the dog, you know develops hind limb paralysis and it, it just sits in a place drooling saliva. So just based on the clinical features of a dog, you should not uh, assume whether it's rabid or not. You should take it to a vet. Now most of us are not scared of pets as much as we are scared of strays. That's because they're taken care of well and are routinely vaccinated. But there are several cases of human rabies that are caused by pet dog bites, even puppies. Willow here is fully vaccinated, but her first vaccination was when she was three months old. And that's the case with most puppies. And when puppies bite or scratches, we brush it off as typical, normal puppy behaviour. But that may not always be the case. Now, in ideal circumstances, if your pet is vaccinated for rabies, yes, you don't need a post-exposure prophylaxis if you're bitten by your pet. But then, there are many factors which determine uh, whether your pet is protected with the vaccine that you have given. One factor is the quality of the vaccine given. Response of the pet to the vaccine also depends on its nutritional and health status. Many people assume that the rabies vaccine given, given to pets is a one-time vaccine, which is not. It's an annual vaccine. Pups are more vulnerable. See, we don't vaccinate unless they are three months old, right? So, in fact, we have seen a lot of cases ourselves from pets, rabies from pets. We recommend in India, whatever age you get the pup, 
you vaccinate it for whatever it's worth in the unfortunate event of being bitten or scratched by a suspected rabid animal here's what you should and should not do a person is exposed that is scratched or bitten should take within 24 to 48 hours ideally but the thumb rule or the golden rule is as soon as possible thoroughly flush the wound with water and then dry it with whatever clean cloth apply an antiseptic any antiseptic household antiseptic do not apply certain uh, irritants like uh, turmeric powder chili powder coffee powder tea powder kerosene diesel we have seen all kinds of applicants all over the country they will push the virus inside remember the time the virus takes to travel from the site of the wound to the brain is the time that we have to prevent rabies the risk is higher if the wound is closer to the brain or in an area with high nerve supply like hands neck and face wherever the bites are severe we also give passive immunization which are preformed or ready made antibodies these are given at the site of the bite so as to kill any virus present at the site of the bite does that mean we should stop petting them and feeding them not really willo has done her part what can pet owners and animal lovers do is there a precaution that we can all take is there a shot that you can take before you are exposed to rabies turns out there is same vaccines that are used following a bite are recommended for use as preventive or pre-bite prophylaxis now this pre-bite prophylaxis is recommended to those who are in close contact with animals when a full course is taken uh, pre-bite i am telling you it primes the immune system and subsequent booster vaccination is not recommended except in those who are having a high risk of continual exposure but for the general public there is no need for a booster only when there is a suspect exposure there is a short and post bite treatment that is good enough but unlike post exposure prophylaxis which requires four or five doses of the vaccine the pre exposure prophylaxis is uh, only three doses of the vaccine on uh, day 0 7 and 21 or 28 now the discussions are on at government of india level where i am also a party to those deliberations there is a plan to bring rabies vaccine in the national immunization program where it is planned to be given universally to children uh, because we would like to end this uh, uh, rabies menace in the country by 2030 though it is 100% fatal it is almost 100% preventable with the current vaccines that we have and this happens mostly in children see they they get bitten or scratched but they will never reveal it to their parents or anybody for fear of you know being reprimanded so it is prudent to give a pre exposure vaccination to children and anybody else who is handling animals or who love animals who have pets at home the memory of the immunization stays almost for a lifetime that's the best part about taking a pre exposure prophylaxis here's the summary avoid interacting with animals you're not familiar with do not expose open wounds and most importantly take the necessary precautions immediately after a bite a scratch or a lick prevention is better than cure but in case of rabies prevention is the only cure